Hey everyone and welcome inside 343 Industries. I'm Andy bravo Rodinsky, and this is a special edition episode of Breaking Down the Map, a brand new show coming to Halo Channel where I break down the multiplayer maps within the Halo universe and also give you some tips along the way. In today's episode, we're going to take a short look at one of the most iconic and beloved maps of all time, Lockout. The original Lockout takes place on a remote, frigid flood research facility, and the updated version looks just as frigid and isolated, and also better than ever. Certain Affinity has done it once again with this version of Lockout, and given the optimizations that they've made that enhance the playing experience, this one might even rank higher than the original. This updated version of Lockout is more about optimization than broad changes, and one area that this really shines is the skill jumps and trick routes that exist on the map. Let's walk through a few of these that I think you'll want to know about. Let's start with the area called the BR Tower, due to the fact that the battle rifles spawn from the top. If you're coming from top mid, then jumping to the top is as easy as one, two, three. It's also easy to do from the left side, also known as the open ramp, and also from the right side, known as the library. Now these certainly aren't the only trick jumps we've carried over from the original, so make sure you play around on Lockout come November to see what else you can pull off. Next up, let's talk about some of the new features on the updated version of Lockout. Minimal changes have been made to Lockout, so I'll keep this segment short and sweet. One of the first things you may notice while playing is that the glass on top middle is now breakable. This was impossible in the original, but don't worry, it takes quite a bit to break the glass, and once broken, it will eventually return to its unbroken state. Besides that, mostly everything on Lockout will play exactly as you remember it. Except for the stalactites that can kill you from a bubble in shot. Keeping in spirit with each map having an interactive element, there are three stalactites that can be shot and dropped onto your enemy. One for the BR tower, one for top mid, and one for the sniper tower. Just like all interactive elements in Halo 2 Anniversary, the stalactites can be toggled via force. Be on the lookout for more episodes of Breaking Down the Map on Halo Channel when it launches, where I'll be covering Lockout as well as more maps within the franchise. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.